All right, guys, we have a lot to be discussing in regards to this video. We're going to be talking about the short term price action for Bitcoin. We're going to be covering the uh, traditional markets and we're going to be covering the overall market cap for USDT dominance with Bitcoin. We're going to be talking about, again, BRC 20s, SRC 20s, CBRC 20s, all the protocols that have essentially been coming out in regards to Bitcoin inscriptions and what's been happening for the past year and why I basically informed you back in you know March, April, May that this was going to be where most of the capital will be flowing in for the whole crypto space and why you need to basically learn about all that's going on in terms of the development for Bitcoin. We're gonna talk about Titan X. We're gonna cover a lot of information. So stick around till the end of the video, guys. You don't want to uh, miss this information. If you are interested in, in joining uh, the Crypto Bros family, consider subscribing if you're brand new here, guys. So let's go ahead and get started into the video. And uh, just shortly, we're going to talk about a strategy that essentially has fired off, guys. And, and I do provide you with these strategies that you can essentially use and take advantage to increase your capital overall, guys. These these are free strategies. I personally use myself so that I can increase my capital into long-term plays or even degen into some of the, um, again, opportunities that are presented in the market, guys. And, and there will always be opportunities that you will get presented with. And that's why you always need to have a strategy, take profit, stop loss, everything in play so that you can maximize your gains in this crypto space. But let's go ahead and jump on to strategy 24, guys, and actually just talk about it uh, in terms of context of the uh, of the data which i will present to you right here and uh, we can see that this particular strategy has about a 75 percent again strike rate which is pretty good overall you know taking a short short size position meaning 75 percent of the time if you were to meet these conditions that it's going to play out to the short side position so with that being said we do have 1.93 percent playing to the downside and about a 2.16 percent playing to the upper side but since this is a short side position uh this basically puts you if we're to take our extrapolation point from where the conditions were actually met 1.93 would basically put you roughly around the 43,000 uh sorry 42,869 dollars here so this area uh, in particular that again the bears could uh, possibly push us down to now where would you want to have your stop loss well you would just basically have your stop loss above this particular again this high around forty four thousand seven hundred uh seven hundred and forty five dollars so anywhere in particular to that high that's where you would want to have your stop loss maybe just a little bit above it so that you know depending on which exchange you're actually trading on uh you know sometimes there are these wicks that like to liquidate you know your your short side position so that's where i put my local high stop loss if i were to take this short side position but again that's what we're particularly seeing it would play out this way if we were to play the the upper side position of this um you're basically looking at uh, 2.16 so that basically puts you from where the conditions were met uh 2.16 uh, let's see, that's around 44,628 guys. So very close to that particular high. Again, as I said, that's more likely where would, you would want to have your stop loss set. So again, volatility is low guys. We can see here and the way you would basically take this uh, particular strategy uh, is you're looking for the uh, MACD to be above the zero line. So as you can see here, it's above the zero line and you're looking for the cr uh, the cr line to cross, uh, sorry, the orange line to cross the red line, which is the EMAs right here. So you're, tra so you're trailing above the midline, which is this one right here. And you want these EMAs to converge and cross and uh, you want bbwp to be below 30 that gives you an entry condition for this so basically that's what we're seeing for strategy 24 let's go ahead and move on to just again the short time uh, short uh, time frame for bitcoin we can see basically we've been kind of ranging in this upper side region for bitcoin which is very good as long as we don't close again below 43,300 area i think we should be okay in continuing this particular move to the upside we can see we've been kind of building this w formation pattern uh to the upside consolidating before hopefully further breakout 
to the actual upside so far you know as on the shorter term time frames right you're basically putting in higher low higher low you know as long as you don't break uh, below the higher low of 43,300 you should be okay to continue on and forward now for it to drop again below that more likely scenario is coming back down to test the 41,600 uh, or 41,700 area and if we actually break that region then look out for bitcoin to come back retest thirty eight thousand dollars from here guys so basically that's what we're seeing in terms of bitcoin if uh if we go on the uh macd we can see again this is putting downside pressure for the bear so in this more likely week to come i do expect bitcoin to continue on and upwards from here again as the holiday seasons are coming up sometimes you know traders don't act upon it but there could be some sort of volatile move as we do see the bbwp on the four hourly again is uh, at a very very low uh, percentile here so meaning that more likely we're gonna see a shift expansion phase from here all right so let's go ahead and move on real quick to the uh, dxy uh, in regards to this guys so with the dxy again what we've been uh, kind of discussing as if um, again the expectation is that more likely in the next quarter in the next year to come is that the um, again the fed is going to be pivoting right and if we said that if the if the fomc meeting uh, wasn't as hawkish and they did come out with a more of a a pivotal uh you know stance then more likely the dxy is going come to come back and test these areas again of 101 guys okay so just to give you an explanation if you haven't been following my channel guys which most of you guys are subscribers and you've been watching my videos but again the dixie is basically a basket of currencies uh, against the us dollar and it tries to essentially provide some sort of sentiment of how strong the us dollar is against those a basket of other currencies so w with that being said you know because the interest rates are going to be lower you're going to more likely see a weaker dollar in that situation and with a weaker dollar short term you're going to be testing these again these pivotal uh, historical levels coming in back all the way from may of 2022 guys okay so you can see we've tried testing this uh support area for quite some time i'll just kind of zoom in so you guys can see this but you can see that we've come back down to these areas a few times and acted as support and more likely leaning into the next quarter we're gonna see sub 100 so more likely coming into the support area of 99 uh, around there which again there's a confluence of a lot of support in this region for again the dixie to more likely look for some sort of a bounce you know around this area something like this and then you know trying this particular trend line that's coming in back all the way from you know october of 2022 guys so i i still feel that this downtrend momentum still is going to continue for the dixie in the next year or so and then that presents more likely an opportunity for again risk on assets to actually start moving from here with that being said um i do like to take a look at this particular chart uh in terms of the usdt dominance now the usdt dominance in particular what's happening here is that we're coming to actually a low volatility uh point right entering below uh the 30 uh the 30 percent okay when you have the the volatility at a low point with a low stochastic reading the next cross to the upside is actually going to be shifting um you know that that usdt thomas is going to be gaining strength against the market meaning people are going to be taking some sort of profits and getting out of you know altcoins or bitcoin and getting into usdt now i also have stated guys okay i have stated and i've made a video about this saying look every time the fed has actually pivoted right yes the the the, the dxy is going to get weaker however every time the pivot has actually occurred it hasn't been too well for the overall markets right um, i made a video you know i think a couple weeks back looking at all the occurrences when the fed has actually pivoted and why it has spelled very bad for the traditional markets now we don't know how bitcoin is necessarily going to react we are getting mixed signals in terms of the usdt dominance and compares with the uh the dixie however what i would state because this is unfamiliar territory for bitcoin you know going into you know a pivot uh season is that always 
you want to apply caution you want to apply risk management you want to ensure look if you've made a lot of capital so far in this market you take some profits guys because that's what's going to be sustaining you in the long terms of things so again if you've been you know in some of these degen moves if you've been in some of these you know get plays like solana and and uh, avalanche and all these it's not too bad to be actually taking some profits you know short term more likely might be seeing some sort of pullback more likely to thirty eight thousand dollars again as long as you know we continue above these regions and continue the structure of higher lows i don't see why we can't continue further on upwards from here now um i do want to shift gears here and uh again we'll talk about traditional markets real quick as we're continuing to see again traditional markets really actually rally uh we did see the s p 500 essentially again hit new all-time highs guys okay and uh you know the sentiment was that is that we're looking for a pullback before you know further continuation to breaking new all-time highs and that's what we saw with the nasdaq the s p 500 not quite breaking new all-time highs yet uh so it still has a bit of way to go uh not much in particular to this but again more likely could be putting a double top scenario here is that you know reaching these levels and uh, as long as we continue to stay above 46.97 i don't see why this particular move can't continue but if we do fall below those levels you're more likely looking for a greater retracement around the 4602 area guys 4600 area so that's basically what's happening with traditional markets um again i do want to move on to this quick i don't want to make this video too long but let's go ahead and just watch uh tim draper here what he says about again ordinals and stacks what were some of the projects this year that really stood out for you landed on your desk that you thought wow this is a real a showstopper of a concept well i'm, I'm really pretty excited about stacks um and the reason is here's here's the way i looked at it um I watched the internet boom and buzz. So basically what he's going to be talking about is that, look, there is there is constant development that's happening in the Web3 space, guys. And I made a video, okay, back in March, April, May, saying, look, BRC20s are exploding in price. How to 1000x your portfolio, Zen on Bitcoin, Ordi, all this stuff, guys, okay? This is me talking about this back in March, guys, okay? Look, a monkey can make money in the bull market guys okay a monkey can make money in the bull market however what i would say it takes actually a genius to take profits guys it really does because a lot of people do fail in the space they make you know a, ma a lot of money in the in the space right but however they don't capitalize and they don't take profits so in the bull market a monkey can make uh you know life-changing money however taking profits and getting into right early on getting into those projects early on and, and understanding the potential for them could basically maximize your gains a lot of people in the crypto space specifically the influencers have gotten it wrong it's not about ai it's not about gaming yes are those gonna make you know life-changing gains however i do believe the most amount of x's are to be made or has been made in regards to again brc 20s and all the protocols that have been basically developing on bitcoin with src 20s cbrc 20 and brc 420 guys i know this is a lot of information that has come out for the past year but the development for this has been very substantial things are moving a lot quicker because we've already had the foundation laid for us in terms of you know ethereum right we already know what the blueprint is we already know what we needed to do in terms of you know capitalizing in terms of bitcoin and moving forward and starting to develop bringing all these DeFi capabilities into bitcoin bringing these these again descriptions if people want to trade frogs images if people want to trade these things by all means they should be able to do that and i think that these these things should not be pruned or removed from the protocol itself right people this brings in usage it secures the network 
people call it spamming some people in the bitcoin network called it spamming however i don't believe that's what it is if people want to trade and they see value in these things they should be able to actually you know do what they want to do right and this is what brings value to the network it brings value back even to the miners in some sort because again you're maximizing the the mempools and and people are paying high higher fees in terms of the miners right so again um we saw avax inscriptions explode you know i talked about that guys we talked about again bitmaps back in back in march april may you know i made videos in regards to this for you to have capitalized again this market guys basically you know came out of nothing you're minting these at a couple dollars and look at the prices they're going for now right so again a lot of potential and you know we're gonna see this market continue to, to, to develop overall we saw a lot of great things in terms of tying next even as well too guys that is you know some game three areas that we've been you know absolutely killing it and maximizing our gains so bought you a lot of things i'm not saying that i know the future or i know in terms of all the gems out there but i do bring you the ones that are gonna do hundreds of x's for your portfolio so you can take advantage but again always apply strategy and take profits when it's right to do so so i'll leave you off with this i hope you enjoyed this video consider subscribing if you're brand new here until next time rose as always stay profitable